So who might uh, be roaming the Chargers sidelines next season instead of Marty Schottenheimer? Well, the Chargers have gotten permission to talk with three defensive coordinators so far. Chicago's Ron Rivera, Baltimore's Rex Ryan, and 49ers Mike Singletary, who will be in town tomorrow and be the first one to interview for the job. Singletary was also in the running for the job in Dallas. Of course, had a great Hall of Fame career playing linebacker for the Bears. He's been coaching just a few years. They're also interested in talking with 49ers offensive coordinator Norv Turner. General Manager A.J. Smith told us he doesn't want this thing to drag out. A couple of weeks. I, 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 people ask for a time frame. I, I don't think it should take any more than that. Uh, we do have the combine. Ideally, I would sure like to have it uh, set where I would be at the combine with the new head coach and begin going to work. But do have some interesting names. We'll, we'll discuss it. So the Aztecs have turned the corner. They took it to the UNLV Rebels tonight at Cox Arena. Steve Fisher's team has won five straight, and they're beating some good teams along the way. Early in the first half, Richie Williams with a long lob pass to Jerome Habel for the slam. Habel had nine points. Brandon Heath uh, was again the story. He had 16 points, won over 2,000 points for his career, the first Mountain West Conference player to reach that milestone. Aztecs led by 18 at the break and never got closer than 13 after that. So it's all coming together at just the right time for the Aztecs. 67-50 to the final. They're 7-4 in conference, 18-7 and seven overall. In college, Aztecs absolutely scorching UNLV tonight by 15 points. Brandon Heath needing one point to surpass 2,000. There it is. The bucket early on in the game, 2,000 for his career, first player ever in Mountain West history to do that. Then later on, Jerome Habel, the alley-oop jam. What a night as the Aztecs come out firing and continue. Later on the fast break, Lorenzo Wade will finish with the jam. Wade had 15 points. The Aztec roll to a 15-point win. It's their fifth consecutive victory, and now they're just two games back in the Mountain West Conference. A number of 1978, it was their 20th win of the season, giving them back-to-back 21 -back seasons for the first time in 40 years. Up next, the Aztecs head to Utah to face the Utes, then the conference season ends next Saturday at home against TCU. Much like the Aztecs, the Toreros only hope for a tournament bid is to win their conference tournament. It would be the perfect way to send off Ross de Regattas, who's been rewriting the USD record book. Jim Stone has more. Here. Pegs inside. There's outside corner. d yes! From the corner! As he came to USD as an unknown quantity from Oklahoma State. He's leaving here after Monday night's game against Gonzaga as a top three-point shooter in school history. I mean, as you look back on it, Ross de Regattas, you made the right choice, didn't you? Oh, I love it here at USD. And, you know, when I think about it, what happened at Oklahoma State, at the time I thought it was, you know, going to be a bad situation, but I wouldn't choose anywhere else to be in the country. You know, I love the coaching staff, the players, the city, and everything about the University of San Diego. Jackson to be regardless. Three ball. Yes. To be that top three-point shooter, what does that mean to you? Well, I mean, that just shows that I put in a lot of hard work on my shooting, and it shows that my teammates respect me enough to get me the ball, you know, when I'm open in that situation. I mean, it's been a lot of long nights and times after practices with Coach Ernest that I've just worked on my shot and got it to where, you know, I'm confident with it and I'm willing to, you know, shoot it and make it, you know, whenever I can. It's been an up and down season for this basketball team this year. How frustrating is that for you in, in this year, last year? Well, I mean, it's a young team and everybody wants to win and you want to always be winning. But that's a challenge in life in general, you know. When things go bad, you have to, you know, figure out how to react to it and how to fix it. And that's how it's been this year. We started out slow, then we had a great December. And it's been a little slow here in conference again, but it's just we need to learn how to fix it. Out to De Regattas. Dribble drive by Ross. Off balance. A black man. As your career ends here at USD, what do you want to be remembered for on this campus? Well, I just want to be remembered as a nice guy who came to play every night. You know, I love being on the campus, love seeing all the students. And, you know, I just hope I'm remembered as, you know, a good person around campus and a hard worker on the court. You know, every time you come out here, somebody new gets to see you play. And I hope that everybody just leaves the court saying, you know, dear goddess plays hard. Ross, thanks. Thank you, Stoney. I love you, man. The Orange of Syracuse from the Big East hosts San Diego State of the Mountain West Conference. The Aztecs have never won more than one single postseason game. That covers 37 years of Division I basketball. Do that tonight. And Brandon Heath, he is a phenomenal talent for San Diego State. Tremendous off the bounce, great shot maker, could score in a multitude of ways. Demon North. Line up San Diego State. 
Mohamed Abukar, a senior, and at 6'10", Jack, he's dangerous inside. And Demetrius Nichols, leading scorer in the Big East Conference, coming off a 15-point effort, first round against South Alabama here last year. Championship week. University of Michigan's done an incredible job turning the San Diego State program around. Terrence Roberts and Habel will jump it up at center court. Lorenzo Wade, here is he. First shot of the night, can't hit. Roberts, a hand on the rebound. Way difficult shot with left second. Transfer from Louisville. And he actually played Jack in the 2005 Final Four team for Rick Pitino. They lost to Illinois in the semifinals. And he's used to the big time atmosphere here at Syracuse tonight. Here's Nichols, senior from Boston. Had its trips. Wade running. Along with Heath. The lob. Wade the finish. Lorenzo Wade has all four points. Great start for San Diego State. San Diego State in their history. On the baseline, big miss. Burks will flush it home. At the Cuse. Devendorf. Free! It's a 12 of 19 from the floor the other night. For Devendorf, a career is running. Nichols finishes. Demetrius Nichols. 5'10. Have a car, high post shot. Roberts, the senior from New Jersey. Hoping this is not his last game at the Dome. Took ever head to head meeting as head coach is here. A miss for Heath. He started off very. And the rebound to Abacar. San Diego State, not a deep team. They'll play seven at the most here tonight. Yes. High low play and open is Hamel for the easy stuff. That's a JC. Heath, a steal. Showing us why he's the all time leader in conference history in thefts. On the baseline, Wade's got it. Good look at some of the history between these two sides. And the Syracuse fans would like to be in the NCAA tournament. But as Eric Devendorf, their star guard, told us before the game, Jack, hey, some of those guys are eliminated. A lot of the teams we played against, Marquettes, exactly. uh, UConn's, all those guys are. You want to be in the gym this time of year. Here is Devendorf with a left partially blocked by Wade on the baseline. Abacar comes up with the star of the Aztecs. Stop and go move. Nice feed on the move. Abacar, the trailer has a Dukes program in Southern California, doing well. Abacar rebound there on the Watkins miss. And here's he. Sandy. Hable tries for the reverse stuff and is off the miss. Free throw line jumper. Bring it back to Rollins for the stick. On the other end, Hable gets free, runs the court well. Wade with Rollins on him. Heath the fake. Hable baseline, too strong. Rama, you dictate tempo. Kyle Spain into the game right off the bench. Provides some instant offense. How about that for the sophomore from Newark, California? Kyle Spain has it on that three. And Spain just off the bench has the rebound. Kyle has battled bronchitis. Other injuries this year that have really limited his effectiveness. Good ball movement. Hable free. Can't get the roll. Here's Rollins. That's three. Steven Dorf, that's a three, way on. At the moment, not looking like a potential NBA player. Here's Wright, that's a three, hit! That is a major league setup by Steven Dorf. He comes right the other way. He's Diego State from the Mountain West Conference in the dark uniforms against Syracuse of the Big East in the home whites. Just over a minute left, first half, Wade drives, head strips. Right, Hamel got it, falling over bodies out for Heath. That's a three. And he hits. Oh, that's great poise and composure because Andy Routens right into him. The little up fake. Spain. Baseline. Headed strips. Under five seconds for Routens. Who double dribbles. Shot off. And he's record. NIT history. But Williams makes a play ahead. Wade will finish. Is he smooth or what? Lorenzo Wade's had some nice run out. Paul Harris, a little give and go. Andy Routens to the bin. Hello. Strong take. Paul Harris delivering here at the R. Team A. San Diego State season over. And a proud Aztec alum, John Howard, on campus today with devastated Aztec basketball fans.